Welcome back to another weekly vlog at the University of Nottingham. In the past week there have been highs and there have been lows and even though we're technically in a national lockdown life has been far from boring. I'd just like to say that this video is very kindly sponsored by Nordgreen. So Nordgreen is a Scandinavian watch brand based in Copenhagen, Denmark. I've been a fan of Nordgreen for a really long time, so I was so excited when they asked to partner up with me again for their Black Friday sale. Now in terms of sustainability, their watches are super ethically made. All of the watches are made in Danish owned union certified factories. And something that really sparked my interest anyway was that all of their packaging is super eco-friendly. It's all made of upcycled plastics, FSC certified cartons and carbon neutral transport which I think is absolutely amazing. They also have an amazing giving back scheme which includes giving back to charities such as Pratham UK, Good Earth, and water for good. So before even looking at the watches, and the watches are pretty amazing, you can be rest assured that you are buying from a brand that really cares about the mark they're leaving on this world, and that is something that I can absolutely stand behind. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the watch that I picked out this time round. Honestly, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So this time round, I went for the gold philosopher face with the brown strap and the gold link strap. Now, I went for gold this time just because I feel like gold is super autumnal. I feel like the brown leather is super autumnal as well. Um, and I just felt like it was really expensive looking and classy. So one other really cool thing about Nordgreen is that all of their watches are super customizable. So you really can create a watch that really suits you and your style and reflects what you're about, which I think is so cool. I will leave all of the details with regards to Nordgreen in the description. And don't forget, you can use my code LMA35 for 35% of your orders. 35%, that is a huge saving. Now let's get into the rest of the video. As you guys know, over the past month or so, I had really been suffering with my mental health. This is something I've tried to be really open about on my channel because I want you guys to know that you're not alone if you feel the same way. With that said, I started this week feeling excited and motivated. I wanted to make a conscious effort to change my mindset and that all started with tidying and organizing my space. We all know the saying, tidy room, tidy mind. Well, when my mental health is bad, the state of my room usually reflects that. So I felt it was time to wipe the slate clean and give this week everything I've got. Right guys, so, hang on, let me get to a safe place. I just almost fell down the stairs. I've made the decision that I'm going to decorate the living room Christmas style. And I'm gonna surprise my housemates. Um, I don't really know what's what's, come over me or made me want to do this. However, I just feel like it's time that we inject some Christmas cheer into this lockdown, this lockdown hell that we're currently in. So first things first of this mission is I've got to go and find the bleeding Christmas tree. Now, last year when we took all the decorations down, I may or may not have just thrown it into our basement. Um, the thing is, that our basement is actually um, rather scary. It may or may not be haunted. Um, so there's that. Right, let's go. We're gonna, we're gonna make this happen, guys. Okay, guys, just so we're all completely on the same level, I'm completely fucking batshit scared of the basement. So, um, <laughs> not sure why I'm doing this, to be completely honest, but here we go. Right, we're gonna go down into the basement. Why have I got a northern hat? <gasps> oh my god, these are the clothes. I was like, oh my god, I'm actually scared. Do I want to die right now? That is the question. Oh my god, there's gonna be so many spiders. It looks like someone's died down here. Oh my god, there's definitely gonna be rats, but that is looking like a Christmas tree. Oh, there's an abandoned rug. Guys, my basement is the scariest thing. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, it's okay, it's just a lead. Alright. <gasps> okay, right, I've located the Christmas things. It's all going well. It's all going well. Right. Am I gonna die? Oh my god! Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! What is that? Oh my housemates are at the top of the house. I told them they're not allowed to come downstairs. So they're <laughs> screaming. They're not allowed to come save me, which is obviously just a great shout for me. Just the rug that we abandoned last year. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, it's just the <laughs> Oh, the light's on in there. That's not spooky whatsoever, no. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Ah! I'm not worried. I'm not worried, guys. Don't worry about it. I'm so scared. Oh my God. Ah! Oh my God. 
my god, I'm such a drama queen. It's actually unreal. <laughs> I've literally never been so terrified in my whole life. <laughs> oh, I think you guys think I'm probably joking. I'm actually not. Da -la -da, da -la -da. My housemates better appreciate this. Jesus Lord, I think I almost died. This is where we're currently at with the Christmas tree situation. Uh, it's probably infested with some sort of rats, spiders, insects, all of the above, but I'm gonna give it a good whirl. So then I started on the task that was building our little Christmas tree. We bought this tree when we were in second year and because we stayed in the same house during third year, it made sense to hold on to it until the following year. With a bit of elbow grease and the expiration of my last two brain cells, I finally managed to assemble the Christmas tree. As you can see, I'm no professional Christmas tree decorator, but I'd say I did a pretty good job. Now, last year we didn't buy many other decorations, however I did find some old fairy lights that I used to decorate my room last year and I thought I'd string them up around the living room just to add a bit of ambiance, a bit of mood lighting if you will. And then finally it was time to show my housemates all of my hard work. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty! Looks very nice. Okay. That's all. Thank you for your efforts. Fun little update, me and Georgia have decided to get some coffee and we're gonna go take some Instagram pics. I'm so out of breath. I'm actually really out of breath. <laughs> you, God, just like, you actually hear me, I can barely get my words out. Little social <sighs> distanced walk and have coffee. Yeah, socially distanced. We've got, we've got many outfit changes. Yeah, this bag has got about five outfits. Yeah, I've so. got, I've got, a, I've got another bag inside my bag. Um, so much, yeah. I've got a mini bag inside my actual bag, because why not? Yeah, we were just saying it's like so hard at the moment to get any content because like... Can't go anywhere. Can't go anywhere, it gets dark very early. Yeah, like, I feel like I'm working all the time till like yeah. six, and then at six it's like dark. Isn't it? I also feel like I miss spring lockdown. I know, I do. I really preferred that one because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like as well I had no work to do, so I was just chilling around all day. Bit yeah. Of Netflix, bit of bacon. Yeah, it was all like bake, making banana bread. And now we're just at uni, like, doing actually, Zara Hall. Actually working. What is this? I know. Sad times, but yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Okay, so we are. We've just done location one, which is over there. The wind is. The wind is playing games with us today. George has got. Yeah, I've got a little hat on because I thought this hat matches the top so well. So it does. It does. I, I think it's cute. I think it's cute. I was a bit embarrassed when someone walked past our them. You know, we just we, we just do look like them influencers, don't we? But well, we are, I guess. We're trying to get some pics. That's what. What can you do? We just it's it's lockdown times. This is also, what we have to I'm do. Like, I'm <laughs> yeah. What we do I for Instagram. I've actually just took my coat off. It's cool, like whatever. Don't worry about it. This is what we do. For, this is what we do for you guys. Yeah. It actually is. True. It's a struggle. Right, we're gonna take some more pictures. Okay, so we have finally finished taking pictures for Instagram. How tired are we, Georgia? I'm honestly, so tired. I think we've been doing it for like two hours. Yeah, honestly, no, we've we've been out here for two hours. We are so cold. We are so tired, but it's so worth it. I think we've done about four outfit changes. Yeah. <laughs> We've got about five photos, so that's kind of good. Yeah, I'm really pleased. Our Instagrams are going to be looking kind of identical. Yeah, there. we decided we're going to do this every Tuesday. Yeah. By the way, guys, we are socially distanced. I don't know if you can tell, but there is yeah. actually distance between I you us. Can have on camera because um, like, it looks closer than yeah. it is. But we are. I think you are actually allowed to meet one person outside. Yes, for a little walk. Yeah, but we've just gone on a very long walk and Lots taken some fish. pictures at the same time. Honestly, it's focused on me. Yeah. On a very long walk and picture search at the same time. So, coffee's gone. We coffee's gone. Coffee's cold. Coffee yeah, is so I mean, cold. Day, but... Yeah. Right. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna get myself hot chocolate now. Lovely. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Not totally sure why I've decided to pick up my camera and film this, but um, last night I was. Oh, I put fake tan on my face as well, and my face just looks really dirty now. I was up all night last night with. Covid symptoms, I've got a really bad fever and a cough, so I'm about to go get a Covid test. Also having to go for an emergency doctor appointment, I can't speak. I'm also about to go for an emergency doctor's appointment for something else, which I'm not going to explain properly on here. But, um, big pain. In a lot, a lot of pain right now, so... Just going to go doctors and I'll let you know how it goes, but oh my god, I just can't be arsed with being ill, man. 
I felt so good yesterday. I don't know why this is all coming so suddenly, but that's life, I guess. Okay, so I do feel like I need to give you guys a bit of an update after that clip, only because it was a little bit ominous. Also, as I said at the start of the video, I have now got a proper raging eye infection. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's that's what this is. But essentially, I don't have COVID. I did get my test and it came back negative, thank God. I knew I wouldn't have it, to be fair, because, like... As I said, I was in a lot of pain from something else. So I knew that that was what my fever was, but obviously because I had a fever, I had to go get a COVID test anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling a lot better now. Um, I went to the doctor, I'm on tons of antibiotics. I had to have an injection and loads of other things. Honestly, I'm not gonna go into detail about it only because it was genuinely really traumatic. Like it was one of the most traumatic doctor's appointments I've ever had. Um, and I'm not even just saying that. Um, I think my whole body, I think my whole immune system and body is just, like, not good at the moment, hence why I've got this, and, like, I just feel so lethargic, and so I've been really trying to look after myself, like, I made an order from Pret and Manger yesterday, and I just bought, like, tons of ginger shots, like, you know those little, um, those little, like, 100 ml ginger shots, they taste vile, but they're so good for you, so I bought loads of those, I've been having those, obviously I'm on tons of antibiotics now, um and i've been drinking loads of water i've been eating tons of vegetables trying to have more fruit i don't know why but when i get ill i get everything goes wrong at once i don't just get one thing i get multiple illnesses on top of each other um and i'm honestly surprised i don't have covid because i was like do you know that would just be the cherry on the cake on top of everything else i've got that would just be the cherry on the cake um i can report I am feeling a lot better now. It's been about four days since I filmed that clip. So I have been in bed. Um, I have been in bed for like four days, pretty much. Um, have been trying to do work. Um, but today I'm actually feeling a little bit brighter. So yeah, it's positive. But um, I just thought I would explain what that was all about because I can appreciate that you guys are probably like, oh my god, what is she talking about? Okay, and with all of that, I'm going to round up today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed this vlog. Um, I've honestly had so much fun filming the former part of this vlog. Obviously not enjoyed being really ill, but um, enjoyed decorating my Christmas tree and my day with Georgia. That was really fun. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you'd like a notification every time I upload a new video. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, then my handle is at Lemmy Horton. Follow me on there for all the most updated information on what is going on in my life and follow me on TikTok. My handle is at Lemmy Horton and the last O is a zero. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.